The installation of any erosion control product is an important part of success in keeping soil in place. Hydraulic erosion control products, also called HECPs, when correctly applied, will allow for the maximum performance of these products. Erosion control manufacturers have studied and researched the best methods for applying their products. The information given in this video is intended as a general guideline. The ECTC recommends that you follow manufacturers' recommendations for best results. The key HECP installation tip is to have uniform coverage in product application. When applying an HECP product, it is important to mark the area defined for the application. Next, calculate the quantity of hydraulic product, seed, fertilizer, and other soil amendments needed for the application area based on product specifications or the manufacturer's recommended application rates. Once mixed, HECP installers will need to spray the same area from a minimum of two opposing directions to prevent shadowing. Doing this will ensure uniform coverage and maximum protection on your next hydraulic mulch project. An advantage to hydraulic erosion control products is that they can be applied to rough and uneven surfaces, sometimes even when the area is not easily accessible. Most applications can be applied to areas which are not practical for other BMPs. Be sure to check with the HECP manufacturer for site-specific recommendations and applications. An HECP can either be hydro-seeded or hydro-mulched. The difference is that in hydro-seeding, seed and fertilizer are added in the tank and applied simultaneously with the HECP. Hydro-mulching is when you either apply an HECP as a standalone product without seed, or first, broadcast seed with fertilizer if needed and then spray the HECP product onto the project site. Both seeding methods are acceptable practices, but the ECTC recommends you contact local seeding professionals to see which method has the most success in your given area. Different climatic zones and soil composition will affect seed germination. Let's talk about mixing HECPs. There are four basic steps to ensure proper installation of hydraulic erosion control product. Step one, add water. Step two, add HECP and soil amendments. Step three, mix. Step four, spray. Depending on the size of the hydro seeding unit, fill the tank one third to one half full with water. Turn on agitators and continue to add water. Add, if required, seed, soil amendments, tackifiers, soil stabilizers, and then slowly add HECP at the manufacturer's recommended rate to achieve a consistent slurry. Continue mixing until all the HECP is added. Adequate mixing is critical to performance. Add the fertilizer last and top off the tank with water until the slurry is the consistency recommended by the product manufacturer. Shut off the recirculation valve and slow down the agitator to maintain distribution of the hydraulic slurry. And then continue to agitate to the manufacturer's recommendation. Please keep in mind that some HECPs may require a two-step application process. The manufacturer of the product can guide you on the proper application technique. When spraying an HECP, it is very important to apply from multiple directions. For slope applications, the best method is to apply the mixed HECP from the top of the slope and then apply again from the bottom of the slope. If it is not safe or possible to apply from the top of the slope, spray from the left to right of the slope and then spray from right to left. These tips assist with performance and eliminate product shadowing on the slope. Following the steps along with all the manufacturer's guidelines will ensure the best possible results on your next HECP project. For more information on hydraulic erosion control products, visit ectc.org. Thanks for watching and good luck with your next project.